When a woman in crisis walks up to one of our safe haven baby boxes, as soon as she opens that door, an immediate 911 call goes out before the child's even placed inside. Once she places a child inside the box, another trip of the alarm goes off with the movement inside of the box. She'll place her child on a pad, which is uh, heated with a heating and cooling element underneath that pad. So in the winter months, it's gonna stay warm in that box, and in the summer months, it will stay cool. Uh, once she places the child on the, the pad, uh, there's a button in there that she can choose to push. And if she chooses not to push it, that's okay, because we've already been notified and we're already en route to this facility. But that button is very important, I think, for the mother uh, to know that she's the last line of defense, that if she can't do a parenting plan, if she can't do an adoption plan, and if she can't surrender her child uh, to a firefighter at that fire station, that she's doing the right thing by placing her child in, a, in an electronically monitored box and then walking away. She's not prosecuted. The, the child's life is saved. Uh, it's a win for everyone. Once she, once she closes that door, it locks. She can't even get her child out. It has to be medical and fire. Uh, these children are picked up within three to five minutes, which is an amazing time when you think about how many hours a child is left out in the woods in a trash can or a dumpster.